Hi floss tube slash felt tube, it's Jeannie again and I am doing my end of September update. Um, I know we are now like in the middle of October and I really wasn't even going to make a video but um, because I have very very little stitching to show. I have done a little bit. I've put a few lengths of thread in a couple of projects but it's not even, I don't think worth showing you because <laughs> They don't really look that different since I showed them the last time. But um, I, for consistency's sake, I really wanted to make, um, you know, a video a month this year. So I thought I will go ahead and do, um, I will show you um, my progress on my Bucilla stocking that I'm working on. Um, I also have two um, FFOs for, and I've, I intend to finish I'd like to finish two or three more things before Christmas as well. Um, and then I also did a little shopping and I have um, several, I have some haul and I have several cross stitch kits that I purchased over the last month or so. So I thought I would just show you those. So this is going to be um, really quick and simple and um, again, not uh, too much stitching. Um, I mean, mostly I've been working on the Bucilla stocking. So this is probably more like a felt tube with some cross-stitch cross finishes and some cross-stitch haul. Okay, so let me, um, wait, since I've been talking about felt tube, let me just start with that. Um, let me see if I can move this kitty. Can you move it, honey? Can you get down? Thank you. So, um, and I've been showing this uh, periodically, but I am working on the perfect gift stocking for my granddaughter and um, and so this is uh, what it will look like when it's finished and then I'll show you where I am my goal is to get this finished before Christmas so I have um, made some progress and so I have I'm almost done with the first kitty um, I need to I actually need to applique on um, this gray piece it's just pinned on there right now I'll show you from the top um, but the tree is done oh there's a scrap um, the tree is done the top of the box um, the background of the stocking so and the um, and you guys it takes me a really really long time to do the faces um, hoping that they don't look too creepy so um, I don't think I don't think they came out too bad so I'll show that a little bit closer so that is um, mostly um, satin stitch couple of French knots and some outline stitch around the eyes and I, I thought it came out pretty good so um, so anyway so that's where I am the next thing I'm going to work on which I'll probably work on after this video is the next step is to put the bottom of the box on and it so it's got these um, these you know it's very um, highly sequins and beaded and uh, embroidered so I'll do that and then I can put the little kitty's paw on the front and get the bow on um, this kitty I think has a blue bow let me see yeah so and get the bow on then um, I need to do the ball of yarn and then assemble the little brown kitty and then that, that you assemble completely off the stocking you can see the number 44 is there so you assemble the kitty and then you just tack it down to the stocking on the toe and then I can line it and sew it together. So, and I'll need to do her name tag too. Oh, and the star on the top of the tree. So I guess the, the tree isn't completely done. Um, that's one of the last steps that you do. But anyway, so that is coming along. I am enjoying it and I think it's looking pretty cute. So I will continue to work on that. So that is the felt tube uh, portion. Now let me show you my FFOs. And so, um, a super simple one that I did is I threw my um, uh, my finished oops sorry um, made the sun um, finish this is part of the um, old Irish blessing I'm sorry there's glare because there is there was room to keep the glass in this frame this is a seven inch Dollar Tree frame and so it was like a dollar twenty-five, and basically the the Ada. This is on lamb's wool, fourteen count Ada, and the Ada was very stiff, and so I just 
put it, I just cut it down um, using the glass as a guide. Um, I put some acid-free cardstock behind it and I just sandwiched it in the back of the frame. So that was just super simple. That was just for me. And so, um, but it was just an easy finish. I think it looks fine. Um, you know, I, I did iron it and everything. So that is my Made the Sun. And like I said, that's a, a portion of the Old Irish Blessing. And if, I don't know if with a glare if you can read it, it says, May the sun shine warm upon your face and the rains fall soft upon your fields. And this came out of a cross stitch book from the 80s. So, and I didn't change anything about it, um, except for I don't think I had the call for fabric, um, but I used all the floss colors. I didn't change anything about it. So that's one finish. And then my other FFO is um, my little, the little Halloween pillow that um, I did for my brother and sister-in-law. And um, so this was a free pattern from I think Tiny Modernist. Um, and so you can, if you go to the Tiny Modernist website, you can find it online. It is stitched on 14 count Monster Mash Ada from Picture This Plus. And um, I did, did make a few changes in this. I just um, stitched it with um, DMCs I had in stash. So the, the colors are not exactly what they call for in the pattern, but they are similar. And then the, um, I did add, I used uh, a toile for the yellow, which is the moon and some of the stars. And then I use glow in the dark floss for the little ghosty. And there's, I put um, glow in the dark beads on it, not only in the center of the stitch stars, but just along it. So this glows in the dark. So, but you guys, my, my sewing is, is super, super wonky. Um, it didn't seem that bad before I stuffed it. I mean, I knew it was crooked, but it didn't seem that bad before I stuffed it. And then once I stuffed it, I'm like, it kind of goes whoop and it's thicker on this side and whatever. So I decided to make a little, I just used a little garment pen and some beads and charms because I thought that sort of distracts. I was going to do a, uh, a chenille border on it, but I, I thought the border would really accentuate how crooked it is so I decided to leave that off and I just went ahead and did the um and it's and I did stuff it with I did a combination of fiber fill and walnut shells because I like it to have a little bit of a weight to it and then on the back I kind of do, I do the method where you you sew it completely closed and then make a snip in it to stuff it and that's what I did so I, I always put um glue I use Fabri-Tac and glue some uh, a felt heart over the opening. And so that did the same thing here. And this fabric, you guys, is some that was my mom's um, from her quilting stash. And so, and I thought this green and the grass don't, don't look, you could really see how crooked and, the, it, and wonky it is on. And really it's okay down here. It was just the top where I must've gotten way off. And like I said, didn't look that bad before I stuffed it. And now it's a little bit it's got kind of a horn on the side, but I think on the cross stitch side with that little, that little charm on it, <laughs> it's, I hope it's okay. They're going to love it. So, um, anyway, but anyway, so that is my other, my other little FFO that I finished and I need to get that mailed out to them because I would like them. Um, this is my brother and sister-in-law that live in Indiana and I went there actually last year because they have a, they have a Victorian home on a main street in a small town in Indiana and they do this trick or treat on main street where they block off the street and they get thousands of trick or treaters. I went last year, um, cause I wanted to experience that with them. And, um, I think I want to say they had 2000 pieces of candy and they gave it all away and it was freezing. Um, but, uh, but it was, it was really, really fun. So I wanted to send this, um, send them a little something this year, telling them I wish I was there for trick or treat on main street this year. So that is what I got for them. And then let's talk about a little bit of cross stitch haul. Um, I did get my fabric of the month from Be Stitch Me. And this is, I get the 32 count Lugana and this one is called Frost. And so it's a kind of a light blue gray. I feel like we've gotten lots of blues and grays um, this year. And I can't decide, I might, at the end of this year, I might switch over to just getting colors because I have, I have lots of neutrals and blues now. And, and you guys, I stitch a ton on blue. I like to put everything on blue that looks like the sky, but, um, but anyway, I don't know if that's too glary. I can take it out if you want to see it. It is pretty, 
but I really am wanting some, um, and maybe I need to go with a different dyer because I'm really wanting some multicolored fabrics. So, but it is, it is pretty. It's got pretty modeling on it. And it does look like frost. It looks like, you know, a frozen window pane. But, um, but anyway, so it's, it's very pretty and I, I love it and I will use it. And I do think her fabric is beautiful. I just, um, would like to get some that have multi, multi-colored, uh, fabrics. So, um, so I got that. And then I also on, um, the prime, prime days or whatever, um, uh, the, just the, uh, a few days ago, um, I went ahead and picked up this Janlin cross stitch kit called, um, it's called Bucks County Farm Stand. And I saw this kit, you guys, on, if you've seen, um, she's a newish floss tuber. Her name is Shannon. I think her, um, Instagram is Stitching Shan, um, I think, and she is working on this one, and she's over halfway done, and it is beautiful. So I saw, and I thought, and I, I thought it was a really old pattern. I thought, I'll probably never see that, and it, it just, wouldn't you know, you know, the um, big brothers out there, <laughs> the algorithm, it, it came up in my feed when I was um, perusing on Amazon, so that's where I got it. But um, I do think it's really pretty. It's, it's full coverage, and there's lots and lots of back stitching, but... Um, I just think it's so, so pretty with the, the quilts and the stone wall and everything. So in the sky. So I picked that up. And then I also, I was enabled a lot and I made an order, you guys, from um, my bobbin. And those, uh, the patterns come from Russia. And, um, and really overall, you guys, I had a good experience except for... Um, you know, it takes two or three weeks to get here. And they say that on the website. And it took, it took almost three weeks to get here to California, um, which was fine. I, you know, it, it was within the amount of time that they said it would be and everything came. But it, um, I had to end up going to the post office to get it because it required a signature. And so, you know, I got one of those notes in my mailbox saying, we tried to deliver a package and you can either try to have it re-delivered and, or go to the post office and that kind of thing. So it was a little bit of a pain um, to, to get everything but the reason that I ordered is I really wanted there was a certain magic needle kit um, that I wanted to get and um, my bobbin has a really good selection of, of magic needle and Marishka and a lot of those those Russian um, and Ukrainian kits and things so I um, and I saw and I have to blame um, I think on um, it's Red Stitchery. I think her name on YouTube, it's just Katie. Um, and she had a recent finish of a magic needle that was so, so pretty. It was actually the one I wanted. It was, um, it was Robins and a head of Robins and a Monarch and flowers. And, um, that one was out of stock, but I got one of its companion pieces and I'll show you that. But I, I did want to show you that it, I did open it, but it came, um, it came in an envelope and then it came in this, um, wrapped up in this paper. So I thought that was kind of neat so um and then and really you guys they have um they have um shipping is free shipping over 70 dollars and when i was looking at the packaging i mean it, it looks like i don't know how the um comparison to you know american the american dollar versus or the u.s dollar versus Russian right now, but it was, um, it looked like it to cost them like $50 to mail it. So, um, anyway, so I thought, wow, that, that's pretty good. But they, and they've had some stuff on clearance too. So excuse you, baby. Can you get down? I'm sorry. You know, um, Pistachio loves to, to be in, in the videos, but so I got, um, a few of these, um, little mice, uh, and I've decided I want to continue, um, stitching mice for my sister. Um, and, um, these little Panna, um, mice kits were, these were like $3, you guys. So I, and I, there were two of them that I really liked. So I liked this one with that cute bumblebee. Hopefully you can see that without the glare. And, um, there's the back. I will probably switch out the fabric but it comes with sorted, um, nothing's in English here, I don't think. Um, do, 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 no, it's all in Russian, 
so I'm not sure what kind of floss it is or anything, but um, but I got that little mouse, and then I got this one too, which I thought was really cute. So I love the blues in this one, and that so it looks like a swallowtail um, butterfly. So um, so super cute, and like I said, these were both like on clearance for like three dollars. So very very cute. And then on to um, the Magic Needle ones. Um, this one is, um, I think it is a, it's like a, the fall scene. And I just thought the colors were so pretty. In fact, um, the thread is by Gamma. Um, like I said, it's, I think it's all in Russian too, but isn't that pretty? And they had like, they had all different seasons of this, but it's got that pretty bird on it. And you guys, isn't that, um, I hope you can see that with the glare, but there's a spider web and it is just really dying for a spider charm on there. So I'll probably do that, but I love the birch trees and there's mushrooms and apples. It's just really, really, I love the colors in this. So, um, and kind of that typical sort of almost watercolory Russian style. And I thought that one was really pretty. Then I ended up getting this one. I think I mentioned in my last video that I rescued a rabbit, found it hopping around in the hospital parking lot where I work, and so scooped him up. And um, so I've been wanting to stitch bunnies, and I just thought this one, and this one is also, I think it's a magic needle. I, it was in that category. Um, this one has DMC thread and Zweigart fabric, and I might use this Ada because it's a pretty light green. Oh, that shows the chart on the back. I'm sorry, you can't see the threads. But, um, and so it looks like they are sorted, but I just thought that was, that was super sweet with the, the sun and the little house in the background. So I got that one. And then this one, you guys, was very, very similar to the one that Katie, uh, that Katie did. Um, this one, it has, um, bumblebees and, st and goldfinches instead of a butterfly, a monarch and, um, robins. Um, but I, and I had been wanting to do a goldfinch pattern. Um, anyway, I was almost got, um, the goldfinch and lilac from Dimensions, but then I don't think I'm going to get that one now because I saw this one. And so this is, I wonder if, it, oh, now it just shows the pattern on the back, but I, you know how sometimes they'll show you the other ones in the series. Um, maybe it's inside, but I haven't opened it yet, but I really, I still want to get the one with the robin and the monarch. Uh, but it was, again, it was out of stock. So, um, but I went ahead and got that too. So that was my, um, uh, my kit haul. I can't, went kind of crazy. I got to stop buying stuff now. And, um, and my finishes and my felt, my felt stocking. So, um, so that's about it for, for now. I hope to have some more stitching to show you next time. Let me, let me put a little something cute in here for you guys to look at. Um, I, my plan is to, I might pull out my, one of my Halloween pieces. Um, I have the Halloween sampler from, um, oh my gosh, you guys, I can't, I can't remember the name. You would know it. Um, but it's a super cute little Halloween sampler. And I may, I may pull that one out um, and just work on it through this month just because I like to stitch seasonally. Um, but I really want to get back to my daughter and son-in-law's wedding stitch. Um, and so I'll probably pull that out. And then I've been trying to get um, a thread, a couple threads a week into my fish and ships, my um, long dog. So, um, so and I, I tend to just keep going on that. I do want to do more finishing. I have a Christmas ornament I want to finish. I have a bookmark I want to finish. And then I have a gift for my um, husband that I want to finish. And so I will probably work on that as well um, over the next uh, few weeks. So anyway, I hope you guys are all having a good, a good uh, week and a good stitchy month. And happy Halloween. Bye.